Uprooted trees? Yes, please. What we're doing today is checking some uprooted trees. Going to try and locate a showing. We got gate access here, even though it is fire season, surprisingly. Uh, you can see you have an uprooted tree exposing bedrock. Nothing there. This is quartz, feldspar, porphyry, and moss. So we're going to continue on. There's a ton of trees fallen from a windstorm that happened a few months ago. And uh, we're going to check some out and we're going to keep going and try and locate a showing. So what you have here is a survey pin, legal claim post that's fallen over. This is uh, old, this is from 1997. You have a uh, small little test pit there and a flooded shaft here. Doesn't look like it's too deep. Maybe 10 feet. There's a little bit of dump material. Maybe we'll just take a look and see if we can find a sample for cataloging. I don't see anything promising here at all other than occasional bit of uh, pyrite and calcopyrite. Looks like they're following a sulfide vein in uh, schists here. Nothing else too crazy looking. So we'll keep going. Nice fallen trees, exposing bedrock. A little bit of schists, but uh, don't see anything else here. Another one. And we got about a hundred uprooted trees over here. We're gonna check up in behind after. Got a nice little lake here with a beaver dam. Okay, so this kind of trail here was actually a railroad. So narrow gauge railway tracks used to run through here. And then all across this mountain here, down there, goes into a valley and zigzags. There's switchbacks going all the way down. So you can see disseminated sulfides, that's pyrite and calcopyrite in your host rock or country rock. Not what we're after. Pretty much all the rocks in this area are mineralized. Okay, so we have a small quarry here. Looks like it's about 10, 15 years old based on the road. And you have a uh, chloratic volcanic tuff right there uh, with schists interwoven. So we've been exposing a bunch here because we're seeing uh, signs of massive sulfide mineralization on some of these rocks here, but we can't seem to find anything too amazing. There's a couple of rocks here which have sulfides on them. So we'll keep looking. Could be moss covered too. So we have a small Sulfide vein along here. Nothing crazy. We're still going to take a sample. So you can see some disseminated pyrite, fine grain pyrite throughout the host rock. And then you have your sulfide vein along here. Looks like uh, pyrite, calcopyrite, and pyrotite. So we got sample here, 
small little vein of sulfides. Nothing crazy. Still catalog this. So we got two sets of samples from two sulfide veins inside the quarry. You can see just deteriorated iron pyrite, minor amounts of calcopyrite, pyrotite, and uh, we noticed a little bit of boronite in a couple of the samples as well. Nothing crazy for potential, but still going to catalog this. Our next sample over here is similar. All right, we'll bag these and move on. So we just spent the last three hours hiking. We're trying to locate a showing here. It's proving to be quite difficult with all this slough rock, basically the whole mountain. I'd say we're working with a 65, 70 degree slope. Lots of schistos rock that's heavily oxidized, lots of quartz, most of it's full quartz, virtually barren some oxidization you can see some bugs in there some mica but no mineralization so you got a property pin right there legal survey post probably from a uh, old claim border Everything now is done on MTO, mineral titles online. You don't have to put stakes in or survey your claims anymore. So we just spent about five hours doing uh, hiking up steep slopes like this. We found three of the old legal claim posts or property line pins. And we searched everywhere inside it and... Uh, where it says it's supposed to be, it's not. So we're going to kind of abandon this showing and go take a look at uh, some other place on this uh, property here. This showing that we are trying to locate hasn't been found since 1910. So you can see how steep the slopes are. There's tons of slough rock. My guess is everything's just sloughed over it. Don't know what he's doing all the way up here. Not much water around here. Nice Hunk of quartz here. Got uh, impurities. Looks like it's uh, quartz in contact with tough, sandy, sandy tough. Minor amounts of sulfides here, just pyrite. More quartz here with some bugs. Got some mica schist in there. A whole bunch of these pieces looks like minor sulfides, just minor amounts of pyrite, very minor amounts. More bugs, nothing spectacular. Okay, so what we have here is an exposed outcrop 
in a road cut. And you can see sulfide mineralization throughout here. So this is a newly exposed uh, piece of bedrock here because we were here last year. So we're going to take a little chip sample. Doesn't look like anything substantial, but we're going to sample this anyway. So this is what uh, some of the stuff looks like from that little road cut exposure. Almost solid mineral. Got coarse grained, fine grained pyrite with uh, some calco pyrite. Minor amounts. We're going to pull off about 250 grams of this and uh, send this in for analysis. Okay, so didn't find a whole lot today, but sure got our exercise. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we're going to head back. So that's it for now, unless we find something on the way back. We'll see you guys in the next one.